What's this, super pastel? One of the only guys that has some of these combinations out here in Mexico. Confusion, yellow belly. You don't see these kinds of combos, these kinds of morphs at all, so. What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day. Guys, as you guys know, we've been all over Mexico do, getting some more content with my buddy Hector from Union Pythons. But now the day has came where we actually get to see his collection. And this guy has built such a crazy collection. He actually started in the beginning a little crazy like I did. Then he had to get rid of a lot of stuff because he really wants to get really, really deep into this uh, into this hobby. And now he's you know bought some powerhouse stuff. In Mexico, I want to say in the next two to three years, he's probably going to be one of the top breeders, if not the top breeder. Um, kind of reminds me of like myself kind of when I first started, you know, kind of messed up a little bit. Then, you know, Hector having a lot of, you know, money, he's winning a little hard on it, you know, so I don't know. But, but guys, it's so freaking cool. As you can see, man, look how beautiful it is over here. And we're over here in Veracruz. No, we're not in Veracruz. On the estamos? In Jalapa, Veracruz, Cuatepec. Whatever you heard in the back, that's exactly where we're at. But guys, I'm so excited, you know, because Hector and I have became such really good friends and seeing this guy, you know, like what, what he's done and him and I partnering up and a lot of stuff over here. He's actually one, he does some of my distribution out here and we're working on two more, actually one more distribution because we have Guadalajara, we have Veracruz, which takes care of uh, uh, Mexico City. And now we're working on Juarez and maybe a couple of other projects. But guys, let's check out his collection because it's freaking awesome. All right, so we're over here with Hector from Union Pythons. So Hector, um, thank you again for inviting us over to check out your, you know, your collection. Thanks. Um, I've noticed that you have this kid following you all the time. What is this? Oh, he's Oscar. He's my partner and uh, he works in the facility with reticulator pythons and we leopard geckos and we together made this project that so he's taking care of pretty much your business yeah like yeah that. here's union pythons he's the facility for ball pythons and and he has the facility for reticulated pythons and leopard geckos so you guys just so you guys know this is not just you know um hector's only facility just remember that that's freaking insane right but right here you know oscar is actually one of his helpers it's kind of like chase you know for like with justin kabelka you know stuff like that and you know it's a it's a really good combination man because he's only 19 years old and he is already killing it so before we get to you know union make sure you guys go check out mainland reptiles because this guy is killing it and we're going to go check out his collection as well all right so um hector um real quick you came over to my house a couple of months ago you know you grabbed some stuff and everything um you haven't really been doing this for too long right no 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 it's it's my first year uh, I started with the ball pythons like one year ago in, in March 21. Yeah. And, and it's, it's only one year here. And I started I start to buy ball pythons like a pet. Yeah. But then I see your videos and, and they, uh, there was an a inspiration for me to, to make this facility and to start breeding and make good projects. And, that's awesome. And now, now you don't do this full time right now because you have a full time job. You have a big yeah. company, right? What do you do? You're an architect, general contractor. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm an architect. I have my own studio. My, my two offices. Yeah, yeah I have two offices and, and a shop um, yeah. for for decoration. Um, and yeah, I want to. For me, it, it, it's a dream if if I can uh, do this for. Full time. Full time. Now, if you if you started making you know great money out of this, would you stop doing what you're doing, your construction, and focus on this? Oh man, that's a dream. But but I think I can because can. I have another business and and I can pull away from from my things. But 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 I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we'll let's see. um let's find out. Okay. So how many? Uh, well, let's start showing off some snakes. Oh yeah, sure. Let's check uh, out um, some crazy powerhouse stuff here. Oh man, all these these vault pythons are from you. All of them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of them. And um, there's more more for you here. And this is the the females. The... Can we start pulling some out? Can we see some of your crazy stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. Here is a pastel disco fire clown. It's a female. It's, it's young. Oh, it's in shed. shed. So what is this again? This is a pastel disco fire clown. I, I buy this for Bob Boo. Bob Boo? Yeah, a big yeah. shout out to Bob Boo. Here I have a, a male. I love the desert, desert ghost yes, project. Yes, yes. 
I, I want to make projects with Desert Ghost in everything. Yeah. Because the how how it works for me is. is and in Mexico, a lot of people haven't really hatched out Desert Ghost. I believe only one person, correct, has hatched Desert Ghost out here. Yeah, yeah. The, in this year, uh, born the first Desert Ghost here the in Mexico. I I think it's what. So this is crazy. So this year, the first person hatched in Mexico, the desert goes. Now think about that, man, where things are going at right now. He thought it was going to be him, the first one to pull out. Just like, first desert ghost. I mean, we're seeing desert ghost clown pies, desert ghost pies, desert ghost hypo. I mean, we're seeing so much crazy stuff. And in Mexico, the first desert ghosts were hatched. That's uh, freaking insane. And I have the father of the first desert ghost. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I buy, I buy this, 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 uh, how do you say it? Macho? Uh, yeah, the, the uh, male? The male, the male. After, after they... After they made their first yeah, desert yeah. ghost? Is this, is... And, and it's not a desert ghost visual. It's a spot oh. nose, fire, double head, desert ghost, hypo. No and he's the father of the, the first, first desert ghost, ghost, ghost here in Mexico. <laughs> that and is I, so I, I buy crazy. Them. You know, I will tell you this though. Um, him being double head desert ghost uh, hypo, yeah. that animal is still very powerful, so yeah, very yeah, good yeah. to have. I like it a lot, dude. That is good, man. Well, let's check out your desert ghost over there. Yeah, yeah. Here, here is another male. This is a fire spot nose desert oh, ghost. It's, wow. a, it's a male. Where'd you get uh, this one at? Ah, it's for 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 San, from Santiago. The I can I can Yeah. Nice, dude. So you have some you have some heat, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here. You have to have clowns though, man. You have to have clowns. No, here, here I have a, a big female. Oh, wow. It's, What's this, super pastel? It's a super pastel, enchi desert ghost female. It's in shape. In shape? Yeah. In shape. But I think I'm going to breed this in, in the next season because I put the ultrasound yeah. and there's no follicle. No but, follicles? No. But I think this one is is gonna be good for the next, next season. Next season, you could put that spot nose clown head oh, desert yeah, ghost yeah. to that. For, for some... that, I buy. That yeah, is, that's right. For you. And it's cool. You already have your display cases because you already actually both of you guys have actually uh, uh what's it called? Uh, sold that uh, um, oh, yeah, yeah. vended at the, sh in, at the show. In two weeks, we go to Animalia. It's yeah. a big expo here in Mexico, and, and we go to sell uh, reticulated pythons, geckos, and. Some nice, nice. Um, okay. And all here is uh, our females for for this the seasons. I have here a uh, black pewter, nice with with a cypress yellow belly. Oh, nice. I like a lot of cypress. And yeah, cypress, some of my favorite stuff right there too. Here is here is a, a oh, ball wrapping it's, it's too. Ball wrapping, yeah. And I pair it with the Mojave GHI Mojave Leopard. Okay, nice. It's a female, it's a lesser pastel. It's in Borrow. I think it's. Oh, yeah, it's cooling down. Yeah, yeah. And, and she's pairing with a uh, Cypress Yellow Belly. So, are these gonna be. Uh, you've already had clutches before, right? This is gonna be what your second. No, no, no. This is my first season. Oh, your first season. Yeah. And you have clutches here already. Yeah, right? yesterday a uh, female put the the first eggs in the season. Yeah. There is uh, 11 eggs. 11 eggs, your first clutch? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, so. Um, here I have a female. It's a five. Full wrapping too. Yeah, it's 66% albino. Wow. And I put with uh, a pipe. 100% head lavender. Dude, that is freaking good. So guys, like I was saying, out here in Mexico, a lot of people don't have visual clowns, visual pies, visual desert ghosts. So to have one of those, you're already, you know, and you're already ahead of the game with stuff like that. Because most of the time over here in Mexico, a lot of people actually, they wait to breed their snakes for like two to three years, right? Yeah, yeah. They don't try to, you know, feed them early like we do and get them up there. So. Seeing him already have some visual pies is freaking insane, man. It's a normal, and I put with a super special coral glow, and this is start to to make eggs. How do you say when? 
building? Like yeah, building? yeah. Yeah. So it's a pastabi. Pastabi. You have some head pipe. No, now, no, it's a, a female pipe. Oh, it's a visual pipe. Yeah, but it's just a pipe. Why is there an H? It's uh, Embra. Embra. <laughs> female yeah, in Spanish. Female. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I thought he had a lot of head clowns and head pipes, but they're uh, hembras, so they're actually just visual. <laughs> and here, here is a head. It's a, a normal, but it's head desert goes. For for a normal, I think it's very yellow. And, oh yeah, that uh, is. It's one one hundred percent head desert goes. That is insane. Yeah. Now, all right. So you know, we see some of your stuff that you first started with. We see some of your stuff. Now, can we see some of the stuff you've just invested in? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So, you know, uh, when I was talking to Hector, Hector was telling me, like, you know, so this first, I remember he's only one year in. You know, he kind of did the same thing. You know, he's buying certain stuff here and there. But, man, wait until you see some of the powerhouse stuff he's bought and that he's invested in. I mean, dude, you're going to see he has, he's one of the only guys that has some of these combinations out here in Mexico. Check this out. All right, guys. So, check this out. So, right here, we have a Confusion Yellow Belly. Heck clown, look at that. How insane is this? So freaking cool. And then right here we have a GHI Hurricane Het Desert Ghost. And then right here we have a female clown Het Desert Ghost. So this is some of the stuff he's already invested in. I mean, dude, this is freaking awesome. Especially except for being out here in Mexico, you don't see these kinds of combos, these kinds of morphs at all. So it is pretty exciting, man. And we're about to pull out some other crazy stuff. So here's some more heat. He actually, you know, purchased some of these off, actually all of these from me. So right here we have a Black Pastel Leopard Clown, 100% head hypo. What else is it? 50% head what? Desert Ghost. Desert Ghost. And honestly guys, I think this thing will prove out Desert Ghost. Um, it just looks a lot different than any Black Pastel Leopard that I've ever made. Um, right here, look how beautiful this thing is right here. This right here is a Spot Nose Red Stripe Clown, 100% head Desert Ghost. Dude, how insane. And then right here, dude, you guys know I was the first one to make these. Red Stripe Mystic Clowns. I mean, dude, another freaking powerhouse. And then this one right here, I forgot again. What uh, is it's that? a Banana Pastel Confusion Female. There we go. Banana Pastel Confusion Female. Dude, how insane is this, man? I mean, it is so cool because you are the only one that has these kinds of morphs over here, huh? In yeah, Mexico. Yeah. I think this is the future, the future of, yeah. of my um, breeding project. Oh, 100%. A lot of people, now let me ask you, I don't know how things are here in Mexico, but out there in the States, um, when people see you invest in money and stuff like that, do you get a lot of haters? Do you know what haters are? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. Uh, here in Mexico is the same, like the same? in other countries. And, and more people, when you start to investment and to make good things, a lot of people give you good vibes. Yeah, but uh, there's another people that just that talk horrible. About huh? you. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, how much bigger do you want to be from this? Cause I know this is not your only facility. Cause I know you guys are partnering up with the other one that he takes care of, that he manages. Cause he got you guys from it. Cause he does the retics, right? Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to do that vlog. Um, but how big do you want to get from here from Ball Pythons? Oh, I don't know. I I want to uh, grow up. Like 100, 200? No, oh, maybe more. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, Hector, thank you very much, man. Really, really appreciate it. Guys, make sure you guys go check out all his Instagrams and his Facebook, Union Pythons. And remember, we have mainland reptiles as well. As always, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace. <laughs>